it worked out great. It's a really cohesive looking package that we're really proud of. Fantastic. Greg with us today from Epic Tantrum. They join us live here in a broadcast. And uh, with Epic Tantrum, tell me about the, the writing process. And is it a collaborative effort, or does one person write everything and they everybody else goes, okay? <laughs> How does this Not, work? <laughs> uh, well, as I mentioned, you know, when I joined, Peter and Paul had been writing most of the songs till that point. Um, you know, now that it's a band, it's a very different process. So someone will come in with an idea. And uh, we'll all start sort of, um, you know, playing with the idea. And then eventually someone else will throw out something. It's, it's much more of a collaborative process now. Um, usually the person who comes in with the initial idea, they get the final say on everything to try to make it, you know, uh, to make it work in, 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 you know, without too many fights or anything. Not that there's ever really any fights, but, yeah. um, but in general, you know, basically the way the recording the, the the writing process goes is someone will come in with something that's really difficult to play i'll bitch and moan can't we make it more simple and then they'll make it even more difficult and then i break down in tears so that that's pretty much the um the process we've got a great guest with us today he joins us live here in a broadcast greg from epic tantrum and uh he joins us today via the magic of skype and uh with with the music and everything you guys are doing, um, when all this is over with and, and we get back to Shenanigans USA and everybody stops going to venues and uh, people start bitching about $5 covers and things like this, uh, <laughs> at what, what, when, when do you guys get going again on tours and, and music and all these things? Uh, well, we we had uh, our record release show in New York City postponed, so that that would probably be the um, the first goal is to reschedule that, um, even though it would be long after the record was released. But uh, you know th that's our first goal. Uh, you know we've already started working on new material, and I, I think everybody right now is just sitting at home twiddling their thumbs, um, you know, coming up with little ideas, and then when this is over. Uh, you know, it's hard to make plans because no one knows when this is all going to be over. So, yep, yep. Um, you know, I, I think once we have a better idea of things, we'll start making more plans. But for now, it's all kind of up in the air. But like I said, our main goal is to get back in and, uh, and do that record release show in New York City that we had planned. We have got a uh, great guest with us today. He joins us live here in our broadcast. And uh, Greg uh, is with this epic tantrum. So, uh so why Epic Tantrum? Tell me about the name and everything. Um, so there was a lot of um, trying to come up with a name, and um, it, it, it's a challenge uh, trying to find a name that everybody agrees on. And it, it was just one of these things where a lot of names were being thrown around. Our drummer kept wanting the name Messiah and everything. And, um, <laughs> and I, Hey, I, that you know, works. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it didn't really, it, it didn't work. But my guess is, is we'll, we'll eventually have a song with Messiah in the name, just as a, as a tribute to him. But um, <laughs> I, I think Tantrum and Epic sort of were mentioned at different times. And um, basically, you know, I was having a meltdown. As I said, I'm the brat in the band. And someone said, well, he's having a tantrum. And then someone said, no, this is an epic tantrum. And light bulbs went off. And uh, and that's where the band name come for, came from. Now, I'll be completely frank, and I have told about 10 different stories on how the band name came about. So uh, that that's one of the more common ones that I tell. But th there there is no real brilliant story to it. That's <laughs> just So I try to make it entertaining. We've got a great guest with us today. Greg joins us from Epic Tantrum, and he's with us today here on our broadcast. And uh, so, w with with the music and everything coming out, talk to me about your your, your social media and uh, some of the effects that it's had on uh, the music and everything else. Well, you know, the music industry has changed so much in the past, you know, twenty years and even in the past few years that. Um, this is really the one of the best times ever for for music, in in my opinion. I know people talk about how horrible it is, but any band can release a record now. Uh, you know, with tools, the barriers to entry are really low. Yeah. So, like, take a band, take a band like us, where we recorded in our own studio. Um, you know, our our record sounds good. I mean, it sounds as good as something recorded in a big name studio. 
uh, we were able to release the record, put it up on all this, all the different streaming things, uh, you know, manufacture overseas, you know, like we, the, it's really easy to, um, to get the music out there and there's a ton of people making great music right now it's just hard yes. to get discovered because there are so many people making great music right now so um you know it, it's a, it's a really exciting time if you ask me for for music and independent music and musicians and you know our hope is that by doing shows like this people um discover the band and and the music and become fans so you know to that end we you know we're on you know, Facebook, we're putting posts up there. We're on different uh, other social media sites. Uh, we're on Bandcamp. And, you know, we're just trying to spread the word as best we can and, and hopefully get people to listen. It is Greg from Epic Tantrum. He's with us today here in our broadcast. And uh, I guess before I let you go, how do people buy your music, get your get your information, well, everything? I have a question first. Yes. Why is the show called the Jiggy Jaguar Show? Because I am Jiggy Jag. Okay, but I know that. But <laughs> you asked me where the name Epic Tantrum came from. Where did that name come from? Uh, it was a <laughs> it's, it's not a very interesting story. But uh, I decided in high school that I was I was going to come up with uh, my everybody, you know, they always say, "Well, you can't give yourself your own nickname." And I've never been one of those people that have been like, oh, "Okay." Uh, so I decided I wanted to be the Jaguar. And um, then there was this guy who is now actually a uh, college basketball coach in Colorado uh, by the name of Chad Klein. And uh, he started referring to me as Jiggy Motherfucking Jaguar. And I'm like, well, I don't know if that would fit on a, uh, a business card. So uh, <laughs> it just got shortened to Jiggy Jag. And then over the years, I became Jiggy Jag, uh, Jigman Freud. Uh, Jigman Fraud at one point. I had a, a couple of local band promoters refer to me as Jigman Fraud. Uh, Jignatius Jaguaya. Um, let's see. Uh, my, my buddy Frank Catolo is the one that came up with Jigman Freud. He's the former writer to the Wolfman Jack radio program of all things. So this story just gets even weirder and weirder. <laughs> Wow. All right. Well, if we ever need any derivatives of our name, I know who to call. <laughs> yes. Yes. Frank um, will definitely hook you up. <laughs> great. Uh, well, um, the best place to find us, like I said before, is at epictantrum.com, or yes. you can find us on Facebook at Epic Tantrum Band. And there's a link on uh, epictantrum.com to our store where you can buy a copy of the CD, or you can just go to any um, any streaming platform like Spotify or Amazon or Deezer or any of those and listen. And you can even just go to YouTube and there's a whole playlist of every song from the album. And you can go from wow. the first one to the from track one to 19. <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, Greg, I appreciate you making time. Thanks for coming on, my friend. Thank you for having us on, and uh, thanks for the story about the name. We'll, we'll call you Jiggy Jaguar, not Jiggy Fraud or any of those other things. <laughs> Jiggy Jackass. There's been all sorts of fun ones. But uh, <laughs> I appreciate it, brother, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you, man. Thanks. Talk to you later. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, brother. There he goes, Greg from Epic Tantrum. And uh, that wraps it up here.